Hey everybody, and a welcome to another episode of A War of the Worlds with the Call to Arms mod. Today we are taking on another tripod, the bloody version, and this time not as the Americans, but as the German soldiers. I, told, I talked in the last video that um, Call to Arms also has various other countries' armies represented, and I've never really delved into them, and I thought it would be cool to highlight them and see how they stack up against the tripods as well. We have a variety of infantry soldiers here, and of course also their armor. Now, uh, instead of going with like light armor, I immediately went to the tanks. I think that the German tanks look really, really cool. And there are more countries represented in Call to Arms as well, so in the next videos we will take a look at some of the other countries as well. And then hopefully, eventually, we'll let them all team up in this glorious sort of like adventures type battle of all the countries fighting against the tripods. We will start easy with only one tripod. Chances are pretty high that the Germans will win this, but let's Let's see how they will actually do. Let's begin. All right, here we are now as one of the German infantry soldiers. As always, the first match will just be played with infantry, and then the second one, I will take control of some of the armor. Might be a little bit laggy in the beginning because there are quite a lot of units. Then again, this is not a very big map. I wanted to do a little bit of a bigger battle, but the game has been giving me a lot of uh, trouble. You can see here it's actually taking out these buildings over here. It's at a little bit of a strange angle. But tanks from all sides are opening fire. Infantry is crossing the road. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's, what's uh, going on with that angle, but we'll be, uh, we'll be okay. Let's actually move through this building. Try to get closer. Oh, and there I went. It destroyed this building. This units are moving closer to it. Let's actually take control of the unit on the main road. Oh my god, they just got evaporated. I uh, recently was watching uh, The Boys. I really got into that. And uh, seeing these like red beams just <laughs> melt people basically makes me think of Homelander. I wonder if there are any The Boys mods for any game out there. It would be pretty cool, but also kind of difficult to pull off, I guess. Taking a lot of beatings over here. The good thing about this map, though, even though it's small, is um, there's a lot of cover. So units can actually come closer. There we go. We already destroyed its shield. Look at that. Oh, and they destroyed that building. But look, we're very close. It might actually already be down. Yep, there it goes. Beautiful. That was quick. Look at that. German engineering at its finest. The animation for it dying is actually pretty long, and you can actually already notice if they're dead by them simply not firing. That's how I noticed that we actually got it. Alright, so look, there are a lot of tanks still operational. Uh, I would say that most of the damage was done to just infantry alone. Uh, a lot of the buildings have been destroyed, but yeah, because there's so much cover, uh, it's easier for the humans this time to uh, be victorious. So, as always, let's actually up the ante a little bit. Let's uh, add another tripod and see how the Germans are doing there, because again, this was an absolute dominating display. Uh, I will also add a few more tanks to the German army, because obviously it's going to be more difficult, um, and I'm going to take control of the, uh, of the tanks as well. Okay, so now we are actually taking control of one of the tanks. We're more on the right side of the uh, of our flank. We can actually see if we can already do a first shot in there as we reload and reposition. Being careful not to drive over any of our own units. As with the previous video, I chose to uh, add a regular tripod next to the red version. Uh, I actually really like that. 
difference there. And I said before, I added uh, a few more tanks to our unit. Oh my goodness, he is actually taking us under fire. Ugh. I can do actually a regular... Come on, one more shot. There we go. Before I probably get melted. Yep, there I went. I saw that the reload for the main turret was actually done, so I wanted to see if I can get one more shot in, which I did. Here we go, good shot, hit on target. Moving forward. Both are focusing on our right side. Reload's almost done. There we go. Machine gun taking it under fire. I'm actually seeing that they're not being hit that much. They might have actually done some devastating damage on the right side since their firepower, of course, is doubled. Oh my goodness. Probably driven over the bodies of some friendly units here. Come on. There we go. Another shot. I'm gonna switch the units real quick. What are we doing here? Yeah, look at this. This is devastating over here. Actually, quite a lot of tanks are still operational on the right flank, so... Let's see how they're doing. This one is also flanking. Both still have their shields up. Let's reload this now. You can see their beams hitting the uh, the buildings, keeping us out of harm's way. The main issue, though, again, with um, having more assets and items in the map is that uh, it'll lag quicker. So you have to be really careful. But look how many tanks are actually still operational. It's really surprising, to be honest. I'm not entirely sure where this tank is going. Come on, get a good angle. There we go. Still, both shields are up. Shouldn't be too long for the red one, hopefully. We hit it a bunch of times. Almost done. Fire. Oh, there I went. I'm still operational. Oh! <laughs> Me and my big mouth. Wow, it got absolutely obliterated. I love that attack, by the way. That attack's so cool. It's like a super bomb in shooting. Actually, now we only have, it looks like, one operational tank left. That went quick. Probably because so many of the uh, tanks were close here. So, one super attack probably uh, obliterated all of them over here. So, even though this battle started out promising, it, uh, it ended up in disaster. Oh, this guy got decapitated. Oh my god, that is brutal, jeez. We were not even able to, nope, destroy both their shields. All right, let's do this again. Um, as with the previous video, I want to end this with a final battle during the night, just because I do like the, uh, the light coming from the tripods, and I'll add a few more tanks to our side and see if that will maybe be enough to, uh, to deal with them. Oh my god. Yep, very the boys like. All right, let's see how we will do. Okay, here we are at night. Visibility is probably a little bit less with this. Since the silhouettes of the tripods cannot be seen yet, but trust me, they're there. 
In this battle, it will probably be a mix of me taking part uh, in the infantry and regular armor. There they are. Tanks are rolling in. It gets a little bit laggy because there are again so many units in this battle. Oh my god, we just lost our machine gunner. He got melted. Uh, take cover in behind a truck! Protect me, truck. What I love too with this mod is that it really showcases the um, destructible environments with Call to Arms. And of course, that is something that has been a strong thing with uh, Man of War already, even when it was still called Soldiers, Heroes of World War II, where just everything is destructible. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> the left tripod is again at a very weird angle. There must be like a rock or something it's standing on to where it, it does that. Yeah, it's sitting like on a, on a hill. Uh, let's actually take control of these guys over here. I'm just going to keep focusing on the left one. At the moment, things still seem pretty okay. Losing a lot of people, but... It's uh, going okay-ish. We're hammering them, that's for sure. <laughs> it did not like me uh, rampaging on it like that. Oh, it's now focused on our left side. In a way, that's also okay because then it can actually be hit from the tanks on the right flank as well. We don't want it to completely destroy the right. Yeah, good thinking of hiding behind his truck. Oh, the truck is indestructible, apparently. But we are not. There's again that cool sighting of the, uh, the red light. Look at all these tanks again. One battle here. Yeah, this is where you can really quickly take out the... Uh, Oh my god, it teleported. Must have been like a glitch where it hit and it got sent over here. I'm not trying to sure what this guy is doing. Oh, its turret is down. Can I not fire? No, I can. It's just... I'm not able to like... I see. I'm not able to like turn it. Oh, and now I'm not able... Well, actually, I'm still loading. Okay. That thing is basically out of commission. We are losing tanks very quickly. Units are just hiding. Oh, look at that searchlight. That's what it is. That's what it reminds me of. It's just like this ominous, you know, searchlight looking for potential victims. Both shields are still up. So you can actually see how much of an impact it has with um, having just one more tripod. You know, not all the units being able to focus on a singular one um, makes it to where we cannot even go through their, their shields. Uh, I think with the Americans, we were able to take out at least one previously. Uh, that was a bigger map, uh, of course, so we could come from more angles, but... Over here, we are not even able to uh, deal with both. It's also because the map is so small, like I said. Um, you know, if they shoot at one of these, the tanks next to them will automatically get damaged as well. But basically, this is now a dominating display of the uh, tripods. Just picking up stragglers. You know, the, the soldiers that are still hiding. Not fighting. 
So yeah, guys, I hope you liked this video of me showcasing some of the other armies. Uh, there are more in Call to Arms, so I definitely want to do that as well. And if you know any cool suggestions or scenarios that we can do with the War of the Worlds mod, let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.